Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky and welcome back to more of the World of Magic. So last time we were fighting here and this time we're going to continue because again, this will be the last week where I'm, where I'm done with this boring garbage, you know, the World of Magic. So just do the same exact thing over again and yeah, honestly, it's not the best idea to be, you know, to keep doing this. But next week, I will begin with a mage analysis and probably something else with a ranger or something, I don't know. Or at least something very different on here, on the No Black Trader run. I'm only doing this because, you know, I... I want to put two World of Magic videos up on the weekends and because I really have no time to do anything else, this is really the easiest thing I can do. Just come on here, record for a bit, and you know, just be done with it. But yeah, um, next semester, next semester, uh, you know, like classes, because if you saw my previous video, I said that in the next video I was going to be talking about this and guess what I am. So, here I go. Well, you know the four that I took last semester, so this next semester, once um, this summer break ends, which will be around August, I think, I think, yeah, I think I go back to school in August, so. On August, I am going to take four additional classes, although right now I'm not sure between, actually, um, nah, actually, never mind, I'm good. So, first class that I'm going to be taking is a communication class called Organizational Communication. It's, um, well, pretty obvious, self-explanatory title. Organizational communication means, well, when you're in an organization, how to communicate effectively. And it actually also means organizational, as in being well-organized. But because you have to be well-organized when you're in an organization to, commu to communicate effectively, it really is a double meaning, or maybe even a pun. You know, maybe the people who made the class name, they're like, well, let's make it a pun. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. But anyways, yeah, that's the first class. The next class I'm going to be taking is, actually, what is it, um, well, I know one of them, but I'm going to stay down for last. Dude, I, I forgot, oh wait, no, I know now, people, I know now, calm down, actually, you probably were not even yelling at me, I'm just talking to myself at this point, seriously. Well, technically, when you're let's playing, you're talking to yourself the entire time, that's what it feels like, until people watch it on YouTube, you know, then that's when you feel like, okay, I'm not crazy, I'm not, <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, so, COM420. 420 is organizational communication. Again, I should not keep saying the number because that means nothing to all of you, like seriously. But anyways, the next class is, what the heck is that? I keep getting distracted by everything, but seriously, that, that looked like a spider. That seriously looked like a freaking spider, but I think it was just a collection of dust. Oh, that just shows how disgusting this room is now. Actually, it's not. I mean, it, it's clean for the most part. It's just a dust. It's just a dust that's really killing it, you know? It really is. Anyways, another class I'm going to be taking is, um, Research Communication. Ugh. Oh my god, really, it's Research Methods of Communication. Very disgusting class, I must say. It's the entire research side of communication, like, really looking at statistics and these theories and junk and whatever, and yeah, so... Oh wait, what, what the... Oh shoot, that just shows you I was not looking at the screen for the past, I don't know, <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, hello there. Hi. Hello there, Spark. Lisara's plus four pirate gloves have been enchanted to plus five. Cool, Lisara. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Why, thank you. Thank you very much, Spark. You will appear in this video. You will. I'll kill this guy because you're not really attacking him. Um, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, though. Thank you. I gotta say, thanks. No, not... Dude, put the freaking H. Alright, there we go. So anyways, um... What the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, classes of course. So I listed two. Yeah, it's Research Methods of Communication, which... No, it does not feel appealing. It really doesn't. And anyways, the next class is... Communication Leadership. Yeah. That class, well, self-explanatory -explan title, that means how to be a an effective leader. It's really that simple. Simple class, like simple class name, but not really so easy because leadership is one of the harder things in life, which is why most people like to be followers rather than leaders. But you know what I have to tell to all of you? Being different is the first sign of leadership. <laughs> For some reason, I like that quote. I really do. By, um, I have no idea who, really. Actually, 
Let's talk about quotes. Actually, no, not yet, because I have one more class to list. My final class is a comparative world literature class. You're like, what in the hell is that? Um, it's, a, it's my minor, actually. And um, honest, to be honest, I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> That's a slap in the face. Literally, I just did that. Who minors in something in something that they don't know what it is? Seriously, it's... No, I mean, I, I do know what it is, I mean, but it's... It's just, it's really vague and it's hard to explain it. It's just general literature, but not literature as in, like, the English side. Because literature can have a vague meaning. It's more so the, um... How should I call it? Kind of like the artsy literature, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's like combining the arts and literature. And we learn about things like folklore and mythology and... Actually, gaming is a small part of it. It is. So, that's also why I chose to minor in that. Because, you know, I have a gaming channel and I have a passion for games. So, yeah, um... But that's that. So, that is my schedule for next semester. That's it. Anyways, anyways, let's talk about qu- Oh, Blaster. Blaster. Oh, man. I keep encountering Blasters. I seriously do. That's kind of crazy. Okay, you know what? Let's get Concentrate. And thorns as well. We gotta buff ourselves up, of course. Oh, and the stone skin is wearing off. God damn it. Oh well, it's fine. All right. So as I was saying, uh, yeah, let's talk about quotes here because you know everybody knows that quotes are freaking cool. What is your favorite quote, everybody? What is it? Um. Well, to me, it's actually one that I mean a lot of different people have been saying it, but I mean it's been credited by a lot of people. Really, Dr. Seuss is the one that that uh, pops up to a lot of people's heads, but um. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. I love that quote. I seriously love it. Oh my god. Especially because I just took an intercultural class, and you know, it's all about understanding and listening and helping and, you know, not judging. All that good stuff, you know? So it really does apply it to my life. But anyways, some other quotes that I like, well, um, I actually really like the, um, I don't know the entire quote because it's super long. It's seriously long, but um, it's one that Marilyn Monroe said. At least I believe it was her. Just watch it not be her. You're gonna look look online, and it's gonna be like, oh, it's it's Selena Gomez who said. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. But <laughs> no, um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, armor and chant. Hell yeah, armor and chant scroll. What is it? What dude? Where is it? Where is it? No, it's not that. Wow. See, there it is. Did you see how desperate I was going for that enchant? Oh my god, that just shows how. How scarce things are in this type of run. Scars more like scarce. Well, people say it both. I think it depends where you come from. And to be honest, I don't know what the hell is a real way for me to say it. Just like the word root. You hear the word route and root depending on where, you know, like where you are from. Yeah, but anyways, another quote by Marilyn Monroe. Or not another quote by her, like another quote, but this one's by her. Um, again, I don't know the entire thing, but it, it's a really long one but it's really famous it's the one that says um basically she says that she's not perfect she makes mistakes and whatever but then at the end she says but if you can't handle me at my worst then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best i'm pretty sure some of you know what i'm talking about when i say that but um yeah look up the entire thing it, it's a long one it's a long quote and i don't know the whole thing i just know the end but yeah it's a really nice one and then the other one that I really love is, well, it's one by Johnny Depp. Um, I don't know this word by word, but I, it's kind of around there. Um, if you... Actually, how does this start? Um, shoot. If you ever can't decide between two girls, choose the second one. Because if you really love the... Wait, what? Dude, I just screwed it up. Oh, God damn it. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let me redo this. If you ever have to choose between two girls, or really two women, let, yeah, let's say two women, because, you know, girls can be a bit, nah, you know. So, if you ever have to choose between two women, choose the second one. Because, if you really love the first one, you would have never fallen for the second. So basically, it's saying that there's no reason for you to fall for a second one that, you know, that, that made you not decide between two people now. Choose her, the second one. Because if you did really love the first one, you would have never fallen for the second. It's really that obvious. What the... Um, I don't need a l oh shoot. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the what face? <laughs> um I mean to be honest, we're already at ten minutes and I I can't kill this entire thing and I said I didn't need to lure I well um okay, I guess you could keep it there or some I'm gonna walk up here then. Up here. Come up here. 
Come up here. Well, um, thank you very much. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill it because I have to log off right after this. But, thank you. Thank you for this lure. I'm going to kill like, actually, you know what, uh, I'll do a quick cut because I want my 20%. Alright, we're back. So, yeah, here's my, um, actually, I can't kill the crows. I'm too low of a level. I, I really am. But, uh, yeah, these are going to be the... Shoot, I need some better stuff. I seriously need some better... Oh, my God. Actually, wait a minute. I'm at plus five. You know what I'm going to do? Is actually... I have a good idea here. Because I, I think I have a weapon enchant D, right? I, I should. Hold on. Okay, i got to be attacking an enemy while doing this. Let me see. Weapon enchant D. Yes, I do. All right, what I'm going to do then is move these things over. And I'm going to put this thing right over here. Because this is only a plus five. So what I'm going to do is actually do this. Enchant it. Wait. I can't? I, I can't enchant it? Oh, you can't enchant this. I just learned something new. Okay. All right, fine. Tell me when you're not recording. I love a little chat. Okay. I will try and tell you, but um, if you're watching this, Spark, um, I don't... I mean, in the, in the past few weeks, I have not had too much time to actually play off-screen. So, it's been hard to talk to people. It really has. Yeah, so... Still level 11. I am still a level 11. A, a level 11 noob. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I'm gonna put 11. And then I'm gonna put the cry face because... You sure need a HR glove. You wanna know the only problem with that? In order for me to get that, in this type of run, I would have to go to the testing whoopas in the lighthouse. But you know what the problem is? Problem is, I can't actually um, go there. Wait, what the hell? Look at the top left. It's glitched. It shows my body, but not my head. Okay. Yeah, but um, the problem is that I can't actually go to the lighthouse because I don't have coral dust and all that other stuff, which I have to make by myself. I can't buy it. Overall, it's a freaking challenging type of run. It seriously is. And the fact that I can't even do off screen just because I've been busy makes it even worse. It really does. I mean, you can like leave, you know? <laughs> you don't really have to stay there because they're gonna get lured. But, oh no, no, no crows because I can't hit them. I really can't. I need to kill only the only the continent bulldozers. That's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna end the part right here. I really am. Oh, there, he logged off. Yeah, yes, he did. Okay, just make sure I get my space here. I'm gonna go a little bit further. All right, there we go. Oh, look, a new person here. Hello there, um, what's your name? I couldn't read it because the freaking microphone pop filter was blocking the, the left side of the screen right there. God damn it. I think it was like Kediana or something, I don't know, but I, watch, I'm just gonna be completely wrong. You guys are gonna tell me. No, it's, it's, um, this, I don't know. Wait, why did I say log, did I say log off? I don't know what the hell I said, um, let me land my... I, I, I can't, I can't let that, okay, you know what, um, I need to do a cut, and no, I will not be accepting the pet, so, people are gonna be like, oh, you're cheating, no, I'm not, um, thank you for watching, goodbye, everybody, and until next time.